Shabbat Shalom. It is a wonderful Shabbat to be alive, wonderful Shabbat to be a Jew. Uh, this Shabbat is Parshat Bamidbar, the very first Parsha in the book of Bamidbar, <laughs> uh, the book of Numbers. And Parshat Bamidbar is, um, it's a lot of housekeeping. It's not bad, you know, no Parshas are bad Parsha. And Parshat Bamidbar is, it's a lot of, you know, counting of all the folks and and you know who stands where and where all the tribes are and, and that kind of a thing and it's really important i think every once in a while to just kind of look around your space and, you know spring cleaning kind of a thing you reorganize what, how much is where what's going on you, know, you look in your pantry you know, like, okay what do i need like get rid of the old stuff the new stuff how much how much of this do i have how much of that so it's kind of like that uh but with people parsha bar that's what we're reading this shabbat it's a good one you should come you should hear at least as important, if not more important, is that, that this Shabbat is a very special Shabbat because it is a mental health Shabbat. Mental health is health, and it is an aspect of health we don't talk about nearly enough. Everybody has their own struggles with and journeys through health at some point in their lives, and mental health is an aspect of health that we just don't talk about nearly enough. It's such a hush-hush thing, and that's really hurting all of us. That's Whether it's during the pandemic, for sure, and even before. So this Friday night, uh, tonight, uh, we have a special guest speaker, one of our own members, Michael Wiesenthal, will be speaking about his journey with mental health. And in doing so, about speaking his own journey and his truth, he will educate us, he will inspire us, and he will hopefully free us to talk about our own journeys through mental health. I am so excited and so honored to be sharing the Ma with him tonight for Mental Health Shabbat. So I really hope that you tune in or you come either way. And if you don't have Saturday night plans, um, maybe you want to come receive Torah <laughs> with the rest of the Jews. It is the holiday of Shavuot, which is besides being known for all that ice cream and cheesecake and blintzes. So obviously it's like one of my favorite holidays, uh, the holiday of Shavuot or receiving Torah. And we are so excited to receive Torah that we just can't sleep. We're so excited we can't sleep. So traditionally, we stay up all night and learn Torah. I learn, you know, Jewish stuff. Everything's Torah if you think about it. So uh, there's a community Shavuot event that Beth Shuren is a part of and a sponsor of. It is going to be held at Birth Shalom this year. And all of your Beth Shuren uh, full-time rabbis will be teaching there, as well as so many rabbis and canders from around the community. So you have an opportunity to learn with all of us because we have 18 minute slots. So that's how they're fitting us all in. I'll speak even faster than normal. So that'll be fun for everybody. And we are, uh, we're so excited to be able to share um, the, 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 the speaking space and the learning space and the communal space with Jews and rabbis and cantors throughout the community. It's such an amazing time because in Judaism, revelation is collective. Uh, the Torah is not revealed to one person. Well, oh, here Moses, here's the Torah. You know, oh, here Aaron, here's the Torah. No, revelation, the, the receiving of the Torah and our traditions and our laws and our stories. That was everybody. Everybody received Torah. And so in that tradition, we would like to all come together and learn and engage Jewishly together as a community. That will be uh, this Saturday night, Arab Shavuot. At Congregation Rift Shalom starts at seven, goes till midnight. You don't have to stay the whole time, but you can. It'd be great if you could register. Uh, you can go to our website and we have a link through there. There's also a blintz break like about a third of the way through. So you don't even have to stay up that late to get some blintzes. Just to sweeten the deal, there's also babysitting available if needed from 7.30 to nine. Assuming your, your kids can stay up that late, you should bring them with too because even kids get to receive some Torah. Again, uh, I'll be teaching, or Van Morgan will be teaching, or Strauss will be teaching. So many cantors and rabbis throughout the community will be teaching. And what a great opportunity to learn from us and to learn together. And of course, Shavuot services uh, Sunday morning and Monday morning here at Beth Yishirin. So I hope to see you tonight or tomorrow morning or tomorrow night uh, or Sunday morning or Monday morning or all of them. Uh, and uh, everything is also available uh, streaming online. So I hope you have a wonderful Shabbat with a lot of shalom, a lot of peace, and a lot of shleimut, a lot of wholeness, because God knows we need all of that for sure. And I hope you have, again, wonderful Shabbat and a wonderful Shavuot.